Amber's 4th of July parade made a big comeback from the pandemic on this Independence Day. And with 2022 being an election year, it featured many of the big name candidates running for U.S. Senate including the incumbent, Senator Maggie Hassan. Uh, this is about freedom. This is about our independence and what makes America strong. And also about what we all value in America. Um, the fact that we come together on the 4th of July to celebrate freedom, um, to celebrate our ability to disagree, um, is really, really critically important. And I just love this day. Happy birthday, America. Today, those disagreements are set aside for the most part. Republican candidate Kevin Smith loves being part of the Amherst Parade's grassroots campaigning traditions. It's awesome. You know, this is what New Hampshire is all about. It's about retail politics, shaking people's hands. It's so great to be doing this post-COVID as well. I think everyone loves a parade. Most of these candidates march in multiple parades. GOP contender Chuck Morse says, along with bringing the patriotism, you've got to stay hydrated. I keep working. I, I just drank a bottle of water to keep me going. But, um, you know, campaigning's fun and you have to get out there and you have to talk to people and shake hands. And what better day than Fourth of July? Not every candidate walked a parade route today. Some chose other patriotic means of meeting the people. Vikram Mansharamani, Republican U.S. Senate candidate and the son of immigrants, attended a naturalization ceremony in Portsmouth. Literally, I'm here to just observe. I'm here to just see what my parents went through almost 50 years ago. Uh, this is just a great day to sort of be an American and to see new Americans enter the fray. Bruce Fenton held a free cookout open to the public at his sprawling property on the seacoast. And General Don Bolduc kept up a brisk pace at the Merrimack Parade, shaking hands along the way. I would just like to wish all Granite Staters a happy Independence Day. God bless them and their families, and God bless America and live free or die. In Amherst and Merrimack, Adam Sexton, WMUR News 9.